Cheating lads. You're not allowed to just come down to my land and attack my shit when I'm not paying attention and have the game on like triple mode. That is very sus. And now you're attacking my phrase. Only I'm allowed to attack the phrase. Sneaky little crockman. Sneaky, sneaky little crockman. Where are they going? Come back here. Come back here, you little shits. Making me chase them fucking into the veil. They're like, this is what happens. What have I ever done to you? I haven't invade you unnecessarily for no reason other than greed. Come back here. All right, now let's go back up north. And go take your... God damn it, they're going to sneak past again. Leave it! Stop it! Stop it! Come back! Come back! Come back here! Come on, back up north. They will not do that again. All right, well, we'll go to Greywater Watch. Take that real quick. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Cannot miss this opportunity. I don't even know what artifact he's searching for, but... Oh, yeah. I guess it's a thing. We'll do this, take Greywater Watch, which then makes us have borders with these idiots, and then we can attack them again later. Because, yeah, I can now do subjugation wars. But uh, not while they have stuff. I couldn't do it before because Stark had Moat Kaelin, but now that I have borders with the actual neck, I can go to war with the rest of those idiots after. There's the question of where do we go next? The Starks are kind of seeping into the neck, but I, hopefully they won't be an issue. But mainly I just want to deal with getting the Riverlands and everything sorted. Because as soon as I get that, I can start giving off like Lord Paramountcy titles once I'm Emperor rank. Then I can start handing out stuff and people will stop whining so much. Okay, so my cousin, the Sentinel guy who I gave that territory to is thing. So I'm going to give this lot to Dane. Why? Because I can. Wait for his rest. Plus he's the Sword of Mourning. So like, yeah. There you go. I now have Danes in my territory. Which I'm quite happy with. That's fine. And with taking Maidenpool, we should be able to make Elvestid, I think. Uh, subjugation. You children to subjugate fellow neighbors. Unite your kingdom under one banner. I'm pretty sure that's the right fucking option. It should be. Yep. Cool. Shout out these guys. That's nice and easy. I almost got 10,000 men now. It's pretty good, actually. Where are the Mutant's armies? That's what I want to know. Like, their, their forces don't appear to be anywhere. Where's their troops? They're not fighting anybody else. Oh, they're up north. That's where they are. I found them. I found them! They are actually going to cross a river and attack me. Okay. <laughs> That's walking into their deaths right there. Prepare to die, mutant scum. One mistake is all you get. Strike. It's all over now. Should have yielded when you had the chance. Opportunity to strike yourself. It's all over now. Up, he's putting up a fight. So much completely at your mercy. Jesus Christ, he's putting up a fight. Aim for his wound. Smash him with your fucking hammer, damn it, mud. He's still fighting. This man is in persistent. Sprawl at your feet completely at your mercy. Uh, I will accept. He is not actually Faith of the Seven, so I will accept. Back to your feet. Hell of a fight, my lad. Hell of a fight. I'll give you that much. Like, like my, my respect for that. He, he, he put up a hell of a fight. I guess we're going to have to do it by force. Fine, suit yourself, Blackwood. I'd hoped that we could solve this peacefully, but apparently not. The majority of their army should be up north of this 4,000 men. So the king will lead that force. Prepare the die, scum. Ah, he ran. Bitch. Yeah, like, all their forces are in with the Blackwoods up here. Pretty much. Ah, they're fleeing south. Typical. Come back here. Stop running. Why are you resisting? Why are you resisting? I'm assuming they're going to go group up with these guys. Prince Jared. Prince Jared from Subway. Is, is getting attacked by some band uh, rebels, actually. What have I told you that we've been taught to believe is a lie? The creator is a lie. Reject the tyrant deity. Uh, I want... I'm very much zealous old god kind of vibes. So, no. Fuck off. Leave my sight, woman. Prepare to die, Blackwood scum. I don't actually want to... I don't want to kill Lucas, though. Lucas! Just surrender, man. Yeah, say he's my brother-in-law. The Grey Wolf. I accept. Back to your feet. Force demands. He'll bend the knee. And the entire Riverlands is unified underneath our rule, lads. That was very easy to do. Okay, so, yeah. Blackwood will remain their own little fucking big chunk of territory like that. Did anybody else notice that John Mudd died of an accident a couple of years ago? And I just, like, completely didn't fucking know. I, f didn't even f I don't think it popped up. So, yeah, we just had another kid. 
But Eddard's not inherited the strong trait or any tr any decent traits from his mother. So, of course. And also his mother is dying of tuberculosis. We named it Eddard, after the old Stark king who was a good friend to, uh, to King Tristan and the Hammer of Justice. And we have betrothed young Eddard to Edara, which is not at all confusing. But we will have our marriage with the Starks, assuming, of course... Oh no, shit, I can rename characters. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sorry, I just realized that. But yeah, we will have our Stark alliance, assuming that nothing happens to Eddard. Anyway, uh, why does everyone look like they're, like, just insane? They've got the great pox. So I'm pretty sure that's what it is. They're, like, dying and a lunatic. Anyway, we will do the subjugation of these guys. Oh, and uh, Christopher, also my wife died. Uh, my wife apparently had a heart attack or something. So we've married my cousin's daughter uh, matrimonially, so there'll be sentinels. So we'll have a cadet ranch of house mud to keep around. We cannot rest. There is no time to rest. I'm losing gold. Why am I losing gold? Uh, because of the ah, personal levies. That's why. They, she has inherited the Stark look, at least. So that's a thing. But hey, I'll take it. We need spares because apparently the kids just keep dropping like flies. I can usurp the High Lordship of fucking... Greywater Watch. Send my troops back home. And then we just have to wait for this dude to die so that we can attack him again without all that crap being a thing. I'm no longer stressed, which is nice. Hopefully my new wife gets pregnant at some point. She's young and fertile! Uh, which just sounds really creepy when I say it out loud. What was I doing? Um, there. Yeah. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll kind of keep beating the shit out of the neck and taking as much territory as we can. Why the fuck it? You look disgusting, my man. <laughs> I finally got limited crown authority. I'm just trying to spread my territory as much as possible, like, and grab as much shit as I possibly can out of the gate. Can I grab Black War? Does that count as my territory? Yes, it does. Uh, I can grab the bits of there. There you go. I can grab bits of what is technically the crown lands, but wasn't the, actually the crown lands. So we can secure all of that, and I will basically be one of the most powerful people on the fucking map and at a certain point i want to deal with the veil the veil needs to be brought to heal like i said the hammer of justice is like 62 now his kid's not bad but is not i mean uh, technically speaking he's a legendary warrior he is a badass i'm just hoping that his kids if they so fucking survive long enough to be actually useful rather than having accidents then uh, i'm hoping that they'll be useful as well okay lads <clears throat> I have my cup of tea, and I am ready to die. I mean, kill. I mean, uh... Uh, first order business. I don't know whether or not we do all of this at the same time or not. Like, it might work... ...well enough, I guess. Like, this should be enough. I shouldn't even need to use all my forces, I don't think. Just these guys. Are they still gonna... Yeah, they're gonna attack me still. Even with the river disadvantage. Wow, they're stupid. I mean, I've seen stupid, but that's fucking stupid. Yeah, they do have, like, quite a lot of troops, actually, but my commanders are just really fucking good. I mean, Jesus, I got 47 fucking Marshal, for Christ's sake. That's, like, mental. Ah, uh, the Brax King ran for his life like a little bitch. Like a little bitch. They're coming at us again. And again, we will... He will charge at me, and he will fucking run away again. Charging it again. Prepare to die. Marband. Come at me, lad. He's dead. The Lion of Justice is quite fucking dead. They just keep sending shit at me. Marbrand, again. They just keep sending shit at me. Like, eventually they'll beat me. I can afford that. Prepare to die, Brax. It's all over now. Unable to withstand your attack. Tintitus. He's an idiot. You should have yielded when you had the chance. He's scanned to see he's getting tired yet. I can't feel against this lad. Eat the shit out of him. Ah, oh, I'm so tempted to kill him, but at the same time, <laughs> this is getting a bit much. Uh, I think we'll we'll make him we'll make him bend the knee just to end the war because I don't know how many more of these throwing troops at me nonsense I can actually win. So we'll uh, we'll wrap that up there. That was quite funny though. Okay, Darklin, you will be first, my friend. Uh, we can't claim all of Darkland's shit straight away, but we can claim large chunks of it, I believe. That, I don't know if attacking all these guys at the same time is a smart idea, but we're going to do it anyway. 
I will also attack him. Attacking three dudes at the same time might not be the smartest thing I've ever done, but we'll fucking find out. I'm pretty sure with our military power and our badass commanders that we can kick their ass. Yeah, I got 16,000 troops in total. I am losing money. But it'll be fine for now. I have badass commanders. I have taken Duskendale. Ah, and they're fucking marching north and ignoring all of my forces. Range of search. I didn't even see them sneak past. How the fuck did they do this? And I've got infirm. That's a brilliant time to get infirm. Hey, they split their fucking they split their armies in half. Dumbasses. Charge! I'm worried about that infirm thing because I'm pretty sure it will neuter my combat abilities. Yeah, I'm still pretty good. Half the army will go there, and the other half will stay down south. Because the king needs to beat the shit out of these guys. Prepare to die, Rosby. Even in firm, I will defeat ye. Die, Rosby scum. To be fair, I probably should have captured him. Oh, well. Too late now. <laughs> He's dead. There's too late now. There's no going back. He's, he is McDead. They don't have the numbers to stop me. Master of strategy. Excellent. If I wasn't in firm, that'd be great. Alright. Duskendale's done with. I'll split these troops in half. Put some actual commanders inside of this place would be nice. Prepare to die, Fawn. I may be infirm, but you will not kill me. <laughs> Even infirm, I am an unstoppable. Die, Ethan. You dick. Uh, what did you find? A tongue of somebody, apparently. Okay, whatever. That's fascinating. Why is my cousin fighting them there? That's interesting. My cousin is fighting them in this little force. I mean, he's been, he's actually lost for some reason. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Claim for Voltly or something? I have no idea what he's doing. Charge! I'm infirm, but I will kick your ass. This old man's gonna whoop you with his cane, bitch. <laughs> and by the cane, I mean my giant warhammer. Prepare to die? Yeah, you better run. They just see this crazy old senile man with a giant warhammer running at them like, I'd run too if I were a bitch. All right, let's go chase these assholes down. We've almost taken the diadem place up north. Back down to where we just came from. Beat the shit out of those guys. Charge! It's fucking stupid to me that the king is infirm and old, and he's still just, like, kicking ass. This is dragging out longer than I fucking anticipated. Don't know why... Oh, that's why. Okay, now I understand. Um, we need to go back up north. <laughs> They're currently laying siege to old town and everything. They just slip past, like, without me even noticing. Charge, you prick. Alright, get back up north. Because they're gonna take Old Town. Old Stone. I don't really want that at all. Off in Craig Hall. Eh, they might actually win that because I don't have that good of armies in there. Okay, that sucks. Now, the question is can we get to Old Stone before they fucking. Actually, I can just end that war. Which is what we will do. Kick their ass. Yeah, as long as I've got the really badass commanders, I'm nearly in unstoppable. Like, I'm really surprised the king hasn't got himself killed yet, though, to be perfectly honest. Another fucking war? Really? Come on. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. Hunt these assholes down. The king's gonna come over here. Oh, God. You gotta be fucking kidding me. The Royces are attacking us. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. That's just fucking brilliant. That's exactly what I need. The Vale attacking me at this opportune time. Get back over here. Alright, gather up everybody. Everybody needs to be over here immediately. I'm ill. This is not a good time for my, the Hammer of Justice to, like, die or something. Uh, no, fuck you. You die. Victory's mine. Now's our chance. Prepare to die. I may be wounded and just terribly fucked and everything, but, like, I'm still, I'm still as spry as I used to be, lads. Everything's fine. <laughs> But I kind of really need everyone together for the Royces, because the veil is going to be... Oh, shit, we're dead. God, that's not a great time. Die from a bad case of the flu in the end, at the age of 71. Infirm, stressed. Well, it's time to show if you're any good, buddy. Let's not let history repeat, because 
uh, canon-wise, House Mudd essentially went to shit the second the Hammer of Justice died because his, uh, his heir was not very good. Fucking see. Actually, do I have an alliance with the Starks now? Non-aggression pact. I might be able to get an alliance with the Starks. Might just save me. But I don't know what my vassal situation is going to be. Why am I rivals with the Sword of the Morning? That's not very good. Uh, okay, not, not everyone, like, I, I was worried that everyone was going to hate Tristan, but no. It's not too bad, actually. Not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. I can't actually wield justice because I'm not strong enough to wield it. Oh, that's shit. I'm still, he's still a decent warrior. He's still a legendary warrior. He's still a badass, but he's forever going to be living in his father's shadow kind of vibe. Yep, you're all not busy. You can come help me. In return for this great fucking boon, I will marry my daughter to your son and heir, and we will get further great relations with the North. <laughs> yeah, f further terrific relations with the North. And then the Starks will come down south and help me out. There you go. Okay. So, fuck these guys right now. I need to go north and try to help. Yeah, go north and try to group up with the Starks and then help with the rest of these idiots. That 10k fucking Royce troop is the thing that I'm actually worried about. Not so much everything else. Especially since Stark seems to be going south to deal with that. I don't know, maybe not. Yeah, we should be able to kick their ass. Stark. They're going to be dead by the time you get here, Stark. Direct leader leading from the center. Unyielding moral damage. Yeah, there we go. Charge. Prepare to die, Royce scum. Oh, God. Defend yourself. I'm not finished. Fuck you. Defend yourself. Strikes, but you roll to dodge just in time, taking no more than the flesh room. Do you force yourself back to your feet? Lord John the Frail overwhelms your defenses. How good is... Th this dude has cancer, is possessed. Ah, oh, he's got strong and he's a master warrior, so he's actually kind of pretty good. I'm not finished yet, though. Fuck you. Cover, you scanned us. He's getting tired. You are overwhelmed. I'm not finished yet. Fuck you, asshole. Flesh wound will not stop me. I refuse. I refuse. Oh, for fucks. Well. Well. Shit. God damn it. Ascended to the heaven at the age of 48. He died in battle against Lord John II of Runestone. Never succeeding in making a name for himself, most notable deed was participating in the construction of great works, which he would never see finished. Rome was left in the capable hands of the regent. Long live King Eddard. God fucking damn it, dude. Died in battle. That's just sad. That man, he barely ruled for like... He barely ruled for like very long at all, honestly. Typical. Just typical. The fucking history has to repeat itself, ladies and gentlemen. The son was not the father. Fuck. He only ruled for like a little bit as well, and he was a badass warrior, but apparently not fucking badass enough. I mean, he did... To the, like, at least King Eddard is also a badass warrior, and he's not too bad trait-wise. A bit deceitful, but... Still, Jesus. At least the Starks have joined us now, towards the end of that. They arrived basically just in time to see the fucking king die in battle. We should be able to deal with the Royces well enough. We will not have good relations with the Royces after this. The Royces have pissed me off. <laughs> yeah, those guys will go with the Veil of Stark. And these guys will just go down south to deal with the other dudes. Because I'm not sending 25,000 men up to the Eyrie. It will just die to attrition. 12,000 men, however. That should be fine. Uh, the High King of the Vale is now the Arons. What happened to the Royces? Oh, installed by faction demand. Eh, we could end the war, but I kind of want to lay siege to their shit and see if I can capture anybody. Alright, well, High King Eddard will marry the Stark girl, as agreed. Beginning a long and storied union of cooperation between, uh, between Mud and Stark. What's Stark doing up north? Have they got another war to deal with? Uh, Jorah's conquest of Mert Caelan, yeah. Interestingly, the queen actually came herself. She's got, she's missing a leg. And everything. That's that's not quite something. Oh, well. we'll deal with this fucking Craig Hall nonsense. Finally. We can put an end to this war. Which frees up the Starks. Yeah, but then we have to worry about the factions nonsense that we have to deal with. <laughs> not for much longer, because he's going to be 16 pretty fucking soon. Uh, we go to vassals. Like, I am having some difficulty with much. I also kind of want to have someone train me. That's really good. I still need a guardian. Hell, my mother could do that, actually. He doesn't have amazing swordsmanship, but 
I can give my brother's training to Dane, which will make him like me. Uh, the wars are over. We did lose my fucking father, unfortunately, but what are you going to do? Well, lads, the Darius have fucking rebelled. <laughs> the Darius. Yep, the Darius. Uh, maybe they remember the fact that I, like, murdered their fucking relatives and shit, and I'm kind of responsible for their entire downfall. Nah, probably not. It's probably just a coincidence. <laughs> it's probably has nothing to do with that. Nah, it's probably fine. Probably fine. So, it's not too bad. Uh, we can deal with this rebellion easily enough. Like, it's not, I'm not worried about that at all. Now, if the Arons were to attack me right now, then I'd be, then I'd be fucked. Charge! Go to die, Mooton. All over now. Uh, except, back to your feet. Victory is mine. Yeah, I'll take a Mooton hostage. There is actually only one Darry, by the way. If they die, that's it. They're just like, fucking dead. Moral defense, moral damage, yes. Time to die, bitch. Except, back to your feet. We should make short work of these guys, honestly. I'm not too fussed. I'm not as confident as I was when I had the fucking Hammer of Justice with me, but... Still. Darry! You and me, man! You and me, Darry! Let's fucking end this. One mistake is all you get. Strike. Die. I've just killed the last of the Darry's. Our enemy has died. The war has ended. Crumbles to the ground, lifeless. You wipe his blood from your weapon. The deed is done. He is dead. Fight over the Lord Marshals defeated. You have won. There goes House Darry, lads. Although I never, I never wanted this. I, I like House Darry, but the male line is now extinguished. All right. So my brother can marry the Darry girl, and uh, he'll be given Darry, and that will start a new branch. I'm not gonna make it so they actually pop out as Darrys, but my brother can marry her, and my brother will be given the lands of Darry. I hate his wife. She's a bit of a bitch, but I don't care about that. So my brother will rule that. It's a shame about House Darry, but they made their fucking bed. They'll fucking well sleep in it. But that, yeah, that was the last of them, actually. We basically destroyed them completely without meaning to. Because uh, Galbert the Usurper died of the infected wound. He was thing. Like, first of all, we killed their son, Cregan, without meaning to. And then the other son got killed by the rabble. A bunch of them got killed by the rabble. And then we just killed the last of the Darius when they rebelled against us. But it was their fault. They asked for it. I didn't want to do this, but they left me with no choice. So my brother is now the Lord of Darry. Which makes only makes sense, I feel. That's, that is what it should be. And my sister will become queen in the north. And hopefully we'll pop out some sons pretty fucking soon. Hey, she's had a lot of Starks as well, so that's the Stark line secured. For the female line, anyway. Whatever happened to her father, I didn't look. Her father, her father died- oh shit, her father died in battle against the, uh, the Reeds, interestingly. But for now, we will, um, consolidate our power and then probably jump and grab a bunch more territory and shit and move on from there. Probably this, the Crown Lands is already split up into a thousand pieces, so we'll basically just pick up where our- grandfather left off and just take more and more territory um the vassals are pretty decent with me actually it's not too bad plus i just had a bunch of special zealot units spawn like shitloads of them so i'm just gonna kind of yeah I i'm i'm gonna declare war on like a bunch of crap <laughs> just, just claim a shitload of uh these territories finish what my grandfather started it is increasingly annoying the fact that I have lost the strong trait, so I can't use my goddamn fucking hammer. That sucks. It really, really, really sucks. <laughs> I, I, I need strong or brawny just to be able to use the fucking hammer for my family. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. But uh, we need a name for the kid. What do we name the kid? Tristopher? After my father who died? Again? <laughs> Another Tristopher? At least they're all coming out as like legendary warriors and shit. That's like really easy to get. Compared to getting formidable fighter in the other mod, getting legendary in this is way easy. It has been ages since I felt so invigorated during battle. Every day our unit is moving as if connected by some unspoken bond. You're right. Modesty will get me nowhere. <laughs> I, I get brilliant up from the other thing. How to die, bring the wood? Because they usually beeline straight from. Oh shit! How the fucking hell did they get up there? Never mind. They can go north. I stand terribly corrected. Did they take a ship or something? They must have, right? Yeah, they, they must have taken a fucking boat. 
like a cheating little Andal bastard. Only Andals would think of this. Right, we'll come over here and beat the shit out of these guys. Uh, no mercy for Andals. See, if you followed the true god, this wouldn't happen. If you weren't her a heretical little bitch, then this wouldn't fucking happen. This is your fault if you think about it. Those guys didn't even retreat. They just went straight for the... Okay. Well, while we're doing that, they all appear to just be... Have gone completely north. They're just taking ships and landing on my coastline. Why am I now known as the Narrow? That's an interesting title. Shout out Rook's Rest's army. We largely wiped the floor with these dudes. And this is where I die against the chicken. Yeah, no mercy for animals. We do not spare the heretics. Good lord, the fucking Christ, what's happened to the Dari girl? She's gone mad. I mean, I always knew the Darius were a bit fucking unhinged, but this is kind of nuts. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll quickly go do the north of the neck before the Starks get to it and steal it from us. We are allied to the Starks, yes, but I also want control of the Neck. Just because it's it's now part of the Riverlands, because I say so. Fuck you, I say so. Obviously there's no dragons, but we'll secure... I want to secure all of this crap, all of the Blackwater Bay, all the Crown Lands, essentially. I want to secure the Vale. I want to secure the Neck. I want to push into the Iron Isles at some point and start taking that. And just basically expand as much as I fucking can. The North, we'll leave to the Starks. I don't want to take the North from the Starks. But uh, we'll see what happens. For now, at least. There is a giant plague ravaging the lands. Which is interesting. But uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go from the neck real quick. 